This case is about a fantastic young athlete named Emily Tapp. Emily is a world champion paratriathlete and a world-class wheelchair marathon athlete. But this case has nothing to do with her record in para sports. In an earlier life, Emily was a competitive camp draft competitor. Now, I admit, until I read this case, I'd never heard of camp drafting. It seems to be quite a fast-paced sport where competitors on horseback cut out and control cattle, demonstrating their ability to work as a team with their horse. Emily had been competing since she was six. On the day of her last camp draft, Emily was riding hard in direct control of one of the cattle when the surface of the ground became unstable. Her horse lost its footing and went down. Emily went down with the horse. The horse got up, but Emily did not. She had been terribly injured and rendered a paraplegic. Eight months in hospital and three years of rehab followed. Emily sued the Camp Draft Association on the ground that it had a duty of care to ensure a suitable arena for camp drafting. The association mounted a number of defences. One of them was that its members were volunteers doing community work organised by a community association, and that as a result they were protected from liability by the Civil Liability Act in New South Wales, which is for our purposes essentially identical to the Queensland legislation. A second important consideration was that sports, including camp drafting, have an important social utility, and that this is required to be considered as part of the modified calculus of negligence under the Civil Liability Act. Under that modified calculus of negligence, the court must consider the probability of a risk, the magnitude of the risk, the burden involved in taking precautions, and the social utility of the conduct creating the risk. The judge found for the Camp Draft Association and against Emily on both of these grounds. The decision said, I accept that the persons identified as having carried out any relevant acts or being responsible for any relevant omissions were volunteers, as defined, carrying out community work. And the judge accepted the social utility arising from the role of sport, including risky ones, and an individual's rights to pursue such sports. The result, sadly, was that Emily Tapp did not obtain compensation from the Camp Draft Association for her injuries. Mm -hmm.